welcome everybody to Beyond I Do. As you could tell, excuse me. Ew. I can't see. And we've taken all those throat lozenges and the medication, and it's like, I, I'll just, you know. What's everybody? As you could tell, I was getting over a cold trying to get my voice back. And then Ashley, my lovely husband probably got me sick. No, no I don't blame you. Everybody's sick. Yeah, no. Everybody's sick. Your son was sick. It's going around. It's going around. Yeah, it's just a winter season. Everybody's got these things. Yeah. Oh, we more. sound like a late night show because yeah. you know, like, hey, yeah. welcome to Beyond With the I Do. <laughs> I know. It's not going to be very vocally entertaining as I barely have a voice and Ashley's coughing through stuff. So, um, but uh, that is life. Yeah. So, absolutely. Push through. Yeah. I right? was, well, that was last week's episode. I was, that's when I was, that was not when feeling you, yeah, good. yeah. So now I just, I'm fine. I just don't have a voice. Is all it is. I'm trying to get it back. So thanks everybody for joining us to be on. I do. I do. Um, I saw some people today who said that they like watching the podcast. Oh, nice. And so that was nice. Nice that you're yeah. speaking engagement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. They were like, "Oh, I love your podcast. I love listening to it." I was like, "Oh, thanks. That's awesome." So yeah, I hope it's helping. Yeah, look, hey, we can only dream. Right. Um. So here's what we're gonna do today for Beyond. I do is. I think this is the first time we've done one. I don't know what. A video. video? Yeah. We've never done a video on Beyond I do? I don't think so. I think we've, we've never played a we video. Talked about, we've talked oh, about yeah. one, but we didn't like show it. I'm pretty sure we Yeah, if he could, he would. What was that one? Did we, we play it? Did yeah, we? we played it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Do we have the video? You have the video, Andy? Yeah. yeah All right, let's see it. it. Well, we have to read it, right? It doesn't say anything. No, it'll read it. It, it reads it for you. Oh, it does? Yeah. It talks. It oh, talks. okay. Okay. I Did you watch it? Maybe for like 10 seconds. <laughs> if your girl posts herself looking good, right. it is for other men. If it would be just for you, she would send it to you directly. If she cannot hurt the feelings of others to protect yours, she is not yours. Okay. Oh. Well, that was abrupt ending. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So uh, someone put in in a Slack, Jermaine, right? And then yeah. Nancy texted to us. Yeah. And then I so I watched the video. I was like, "Oh, that's good. We could we could talk about that." Not yeah. we'll we'll get to that video, but more so, you know, right now in when people submit a divorce, you know, yeah. when you submit a divorce, you have to say reasons for a divorce, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, statistically, right now, half of all divorces that are submitted, mm-hmm. social media, Facebook is involved in all half of all divorce oh, really? submissions. So, no idea. Believe it or not, in terms of. Uh, Healthy and unhealthy relationships, yeah, yeah. social media is in there because one out of two divorce, so one out of two people get a divorce, right. and then one out of two of those divorces, people cite social media as not the cause, but a cause yeah. in the divorce. Yeah. And so I was like, wow, that, you know, that thought we could talk about, but really just the overall thought of marriages and social mm-hmm, media mm-hmm. and and, and that dance of... Yeah. I know we've had multiple conversations and I think it was on my own insecurities of like, I would be like, and this was earlier on, I'd be like, why don't you post me? And it's yeah. like, and you're like, I don't care. Like, not about me. He's like, you're like, I don't care about social media. Like, I don't need to flaunt you to show you that, or to show everyone else that I'm in love with you. It was more so that you're like, you honestly, you... When you would tell me, uh, not that you didn't want to post me, but it was like, what was the purpose behind the post? Is it to show and flaunt that I'm with you or what? Or to like show that you're mine? And I think that it comes down to uh, uh, your own confidence and your own humility because I got over it really quickly because you were like, and it wasn't even in a malicious way where you're just like, Ashley, get over it. You were just like, I don't even think about it like that. Like, I don't think like... What's the purpose of me posting you to show everyone else? They know we're married. Like a post doesn't solidify our marriage. A post doesn't fit solidify our love. So what is so big about you wanting me to post you sort of thing? And so I had to have a reflection of that and say, you know what? It really isn't that serious. I really yeah. don't care. I really shouldn't care because, I mean, you come home to me every day. You show me that I can trust you. You take care of our family. You lead our home. And those are things that should matter to us within our marriage and should not matter on a platform of social media to showcase that's who we are. Yeah. And um, social media is so fake. 
-hmm. It is. It's so fun. We laugh all the time because we, Adam and I will get in riffs or something like that, or we'll argue in front of like Sanaz and Nathan. And then the next day I would post like, I love you. I can't do life without you. And Sanaz and Nathan would be like, wah, wah, wah. Like (laughs) knowing that we had just gotten an argument the day before and they're like, oh, okay, okay. Let's see the truth. Um, And I think that's, that's the hard part is social media is so fake. It's so phony. It's um, very uh, jaded. Um, and I think a lot of people get caught up in that. And I, I, for a moment, would get caught up in even posting selfies and stuff like that. And I think it's more of a confidence booster for s- some women because they, they enjoy other women rooting them on. Mm-hmm. If that's your intention behind it. Now, if your intention is to attract other men, now you're causing a man to stumble. Now you're causing a man to look where he shouldn't be looking. And so you have to be very mindful of that as a woman. Why is your intention of posting yourself? Is it for you want the the, the applause of other women? That's fine. But if your heart behind it is saying, I want men to find me attractive and I want that outer image to be portrayed, um, I think you're posting for the wrong reason. Because you can cause a man to stumble for sure. So help. If, guy, if there is somewhere to understand it, help a guy understand uh, a married woman who is going out on a date night or going out to a concert and she posts her outfit, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, and Na- Nancy's in here. She goes out. Yeah. She's single. Yeah. So single girls do it. Married yeah. women do it. Yeah. They post their outfit, what they're yeah. going with in the night. Like, w- why is a girl doing that? Because they want... They want their girlfriends to be like, oh, girl, you so pretty. Like what? Like what is driving? Yeah. What is driving them? Because I would sometimes say, uh, you'll do like an Insta story. Yeah. But I can't remember as of late any time you've ever done like a regular post with you a selfie. You always tell me to walk in it. And if you post a selfie, it's I'm standing in it, too. And we're yeah, both going yeah, out. Yeah. Um, I don't think you've ever like got out with your girlfriends and mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. Um, posted myself posted yourself like you're going out so what i i guess what i'm trying to figure is because honestly for me like if if i had a wife who was doing that like i'd be bothered by that right right i'd I'd be like i'd be like why are you doing that why do you need it you don't have a a group text with your girlfriends that you can't send that in you know if you really want to be hyped up by your girl like you need 50 people doing it as opposed to your 10 right Girlfriends in a group text, right. like why? Why is it? You know, it's like, oh, well, I want to feel pretty, or I like the way I look, and I want to show. I, my question is just like, why? You know, right. you had a great meal last night. You didn't post that. You right. didn't. Right. You know, like, right. why? Why this particular thing is it? You know, so, so I kind of get it. Like, I don't. So maybe help a guy try to understand. Like, is that really the sole reason why you just want your girlfriends to be like, oh, you look great. You know, I think that there's other platforms because I I know that now social media has this like exclusive to your friends, like the green Uh one, whatever it's called. I forget, like close friends. Um, I would say that if you if that. So what I will say, I'll be honest, I think a lot of women do post themselves for attention. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Yeah, they do. I, 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 you, you can't, in you can't, you, in the you did, there on that one. and, and so <laughs> I was, I was going to try and sugarcoat it and there's no sugarcoating it. I think a lot of women like the applause of other people and that's okay. Well, and I think and they, I'll say this, cut you off and let you finish. Women are taught to peacock at a very young age. Yes. Go to princess. Yes. You wear makeup, twirl in Look your dress, yes. like, Pose. you know, you even the seven year old girl, you, yeah. you take her to. Bibbidi Bop Boutique at Disneyland yep. and she gets a dress. She puts makeup. Everybody goes, oh, you're so pretty. Yeah. As if you weren't prior, prior to you doing right, that. Right. Which that doesn't really commonly happen for, for young boys. We don't right. dress up young boys and be like, yeah. oh my gosh, you're so, you know, maybe they put a suit on. We say you're handsome, but right. he could put on basketball outfit for his first game. Right. And then we're like, yeah, you look so good. Right. But yeah, I mean, I guess women, you know, you go to high school and, and, and oh, yeah. she starts getting you know, puberty for the first time yeah. and boobs start coming in and yeah. she starts getting attention and this and that. And it's like, so women are taught at a young age that a lot, and it, you know, Jordan Peterson has talked about that before. Right. Women blush their cheeks because when you're 
when you're shy or when you're um, uh, when you're when you like someone, you, you blush. Mm-hmm. And so artificial blush is a way to that you protrude uh, interest mm. as a woman and yeah. lipstick rouge, red, red lipstick is the same thing. Like when you when 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 we are being intimate, blood rushes to your lips. Yeah. And so lipstick resembles interest. And yeah. so women are they peacock. And so I could see a natural instinct yeah. would be like, well, since I have this device, yeah. Instead of just peacocking at work or, you know, to go grocery shop, I could do this in front of 500 followers or 200 followers, which it's not that it's okay, right? but you can see the logic that traces down. But for me as a married man, I'm like, I have to unfollow, you know, we may have friends or I may have relatives. Right, right. I got to unfollow them at times because I'm like, what do you, I'm glad that you're confident, but what do you, like, I'm a Christian man. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be sitting, you know, somewhere and all of a sudden a girl wearing a bustier yeah, pops shows up on my feed yeah. and, and she was going out to get a steak. Like, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> and then I unfollow and then it becomes a mess of why you don't follow my wife and right. blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, because she was posting okay. herself half, half naked right, right. On, on Instagram or not even half naked, just in a way that, that, you know, is it necessarily appropriate in the sense of her just standing by herself? Right. You right. know? Um, do you think, though, that because obviously we do have Nancy in here and someone like my sister who would post pictures of themselves that look pretty when they're going out, they're going out with their girlfriends and they may be in different group settings to be with them. Do you think it is wrong of them because they are single that they can post prettier pictures of themselves? Or is there a level where it's too far? Well, I mean, I think it's innately, I think it's innately what it is, which you're trying to, you're trying to attract yourself to a suitor. So yeah. it makes sense to me that a single girl would post yeah. herself, even for a single guy, it yeah. would make sense yeah. to me for him yeah. to post a selfie yeah. as long as he doesn't do duck lips or something like that. <laughs> Don't make me. But like, even for a guy, I would be like, oh, okay, like that's your, that's the modern town yeah. hall and yeah. you got to go yeah. on social media and, you know post yourself yeah. hanging out or whatever yeah. like that, that it's not that it's okay, yeah. but it's like, okay, you're single and you're trying to make, you're trying to go out. Now right. I don't think it's okay for single women to wear whatever they want yeah. because, um, you know, I've just always lived by the adage that if you show a lot of meat, you're going to track wolves. So yeah. as a girl, don't be surprised that, you know, if you're going to show the whole butcher shop, that you're attracting guys who are just looking for a taste. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, when single girls post everything that their mom gave them, then, and then they go, ah, I can't find a good man. And I'm like, well, I've, I've seen what you've shared on right, social media. Right. Me as a Christian man, I would not be interested yeah. in that type of, what, like if you or I and I were dating and I went through your social media and I saw a shroud of pictures in you in a mini skirt, thigh high, knee high boots yeah. with your breast put together i'd be like that's not the kind of girl yeah. that i'm interested in yeah. you would need a guy who's like lukewarm christian who's yeah. like oh i like that yeah. and i like to you know i like to live a little bit in the world yeah. and go yeah. to church on sunday which yeah. that's ultimately you know not going to be probably a guy who leads too well so right. so to me like the way you're portraying yourself uh does uh, get what you you're gonna get what you're trying to attract. Right. Whereas like if you're doing a selfie and like you're on a bike ride on a hike, like okay, that, to right. me that's not. Um, right. That's I'm like oh that's interesting. That girl yeah. likes the bike ride. You yeah. should share the kind yeah. of stuff your interests and you know how you went out that day. But to specifically choose to only cho- show your attractive side, which is yeah. what a lot of women do on social media and and the men have their own way that they do these kinds of things. Um, that ultimately to me is, is not going to be the healthiest in terms right. of the social media world, uh, that we live in. My, my dad would always make a joke when he'd preach for many years and right. he, you know, he'd say, don't get caught up on how good the, right. the woman looks because one day you're going to marry her and she's going to twist her leg off and <laughs> take her weave off and <laughs> pull off her la- lashes. I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> And so he's like, and that was before social media. So, you know, but he'd always make that joke to be like, whatever's in front of you, you know, if you yeah. just fall for what's in front of you, yeah. then, then, then that's what, what at one, at some time you're going to be surprised. Yeah. You yeah. know, well, then I got a question for you. Okay. You remember the, um, the backlash I got on one of my posts and I, it was with you, that girl went ham on me. 
remember? And then Allie chimed in. You were wearing like a black dress. I was wearing a black oh, dress. Oh, someone, someone got upset at something you were wearing. Yes, but okay. I was with you. In the, correct, you yeah, correct, correct. You were in the picture with mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This dress was short. Mm-hmm. Per se, maybe. maybe. I, yeah, I mean, as your husband, I didn't think so. Right. You know? So, but if somebody else points it out and thinks that it is and thought that it was that way and it could be misleading or it could be causing someone to stumble, yeah. even though I'm with my husband... What would you say to something like that? Because it was, I thought we both looked good. I loved the picture of both of us in the sense. So posting it wasn't to get like, Yeah. it was like we were on a date night. Correct. But yeah. the dress to some people was Scandi. Yeah. I mean, you know, everyone's going to have an opinion about everything. I right. mean, I just shared about how relatively conservative I am in most yeah. approaches. So, so to me, it was not. Uh, in an inappropriate dress H- yeah. had it been I, I wouldn't I would have asked you to wear something different yeah, yeah. which there are times I've asked you to wear something different yeah. not because you intentionally were trying to be revealing but right. you're a woman and you have a figure and yeah. what looked good on Fashion Nova person that looked relatively docile to then go on to you it's like oh wow that shows a little bit too much of your figure yeah. too much yeah. this like maybe you should wear something different and you'd be like oh okay and yeah. so um, yeah, like, and, and the problem is, is a lot of times people are offended for someone else mm. that doesn't exist. Yeah. The imaginary person. Well, someone could be really, who the heck is someone? someone. I, who is this someone you speak of? Yeah. Why are you getting offended for someone that doesn't exist? Right. You know, well, maybe I'm offended. Are you offended? Yeah. Well, I could be. Yeah. Like, oh, be quiet. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. You know, and so there's that kind of stuff that exists. And so for yeah. me... You know, even someone listening to us, like you hear wisdom, you hear advice yeah. for me. And then those that were in our community didn't thought the dress was fine. Yeah. Um, and, and so as your husband, it's ultimately, you know, my call in terms of what's comfortable to me yeah. as your husband. Um, I forget Islam. They call it something, too, where like you flaunt your wife off who's pretty and it's supposed to be a no, no, which I somewhat uh, agree to that. Like. Mm-hmm. If, if, if you're trying to flaunt your spouse to have people find her attractive, then yeah, that, that shouldn't, that, 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 that should not, that's not something that's really advisable. But if it's just like, Hey, we both look great tonight. We're going out tonight. Yeah. We don't want to always show our side that we're like always in church and in ministry. Yeah. Like we go out to dinner and we spend time together and you're like, Oh, I really like this picture. I want to share it with people. And then if someone goes like, I don't like that outfit, you're this, you're that. It's ultimately like, what does my husband think? What does my right. community think? If someone hit me up and didn't, not what I'm wearing, people may find something else that I do inappropriate. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, if, if, if my wife is at peace with this and our community is at peace with this, then, then that's what I'm going to lean towards. Right. I'm not going to lean towards an imaginary offense. So that's why I think that there's wisdom in it and, there, and there's room in it. Yeah. And there's, um, you know, environment is yeah. big too because... To wear a bikini out to dinner is not appropriate, but to wear one at the beach, most people yeah. don't have any concern for. Right, right. So environment is, I mean, obviously there nowadays there are very revealing bikinis right. that aren't appropriate. <laughs> but overall, like just a woman wearing a natural one piece or a bikini is like, it's fine at the beach. Yeah, yeah. But take her out into a restaurant, Yeah. you know, then it's like, oh, now it's not. Yeah. So the environment is big. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In knowing what environment this is being had, well, what's happening, and and so I mean, for me though, that's why I don't post all the time because you shared about that person's comments. Like, I just I don't I don't um, I kind of always buck back at the at the haters a lot of times. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't share too much of my own personal life because, God forbid, someone tell me how to raise my son or mm-hmm. tell me how to treat my you know not treat but like engage with my wife. Like right. I'd be like. You know, I'm like, man, you know, <laughs> you know, people know me. There would be like a not good side you right. would get. So that's why I just like, I don't tend to like, you know, post that side of it yeah. on, on social media. Yeah. So that's why when you're like, why don't you post me? I'm like, I just don't view social media. Just social media isn't my life album. Yeah. You know, um, um, social media to me is how I connect with other people. Yeah. And so sometimes it's my family, but sometimes that's <coughs> what I do in church. And I'm right. posting what we have going on and all that stuff like that. I'm not just there to share this is what my life is yeah, yeah. and you know, even though i I'm feel not like interested in that yeah we're single you know 
I think there's also there's been times where I've been convicted where I'm like, even if I'm at the gym, you know, it's like you go to the gym now, people are like in two pieces, oh gosh, you know, yeah. and mm-hmm. tight little booty shorts. And yes. it's just like, oh, wow. So I think there's a lot of too when you are posting things as a woman, whether you're single or not, especially if you are single, though, it's like like you just said, it's being careful of what it is that you're showing and asking yourself like why you know you can look pretty we were talking about this earlier you can look pretty be like okay i'm feeling myself i want to post a selfie yeah. cool but i think there's been times for me personally where i'm like maybe i should t- i'll take a picture down because i'm like oh i probably shouldn't be posting that you yeah. know um and it's not that i'm trying to hide who i am or trying to hide something inappropriate it's just probably not for everybody to see yeah, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. so i i think uh, yeah, and there are many girls that are like like all they do is tailor their feed and their stuff to just pictures of themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Right, right, right. Never anything else. Yeah. Never a picture with their parents. Yeah. Never a picture with the sibling. Ne- because, oh, God forbid, that be uninteresting. You know, right. Like, right. like, I just want to post me in my outfits. You know, yeah. like. And a male version of that is guys that always post themselves at their work desk. You yeah. know, because they, nobody cares. Yeah. You know, that you're at your work desk, you know, guys think it's attractive. I'm grinding. Here I am. Look at my three computer screens. Let me, you know, like they think a girl's looking at them like, oh my gosh, she has three computer screens and an Apple watch. Like nobody cares. <laughs> so in the, the same Apple way that a girl is taking a selfie, guys aren't like, oh, oh my God, you know, yeah. look who posted another selfie today. Like maybe, you know, young teenage guys or whatever, yeah. but like it, it gets really entrapping. I, I know a lot of married men who have gotten in trouble for commenting or liking on on oh, yeah. you know these female influencer pages that you know wear next to nothing yeah. and with that said um, yeah so oh comment, my gosh yeah have you are you gonna you say know, the same thing go, are you gonna you say go. the same thing i don't know where I know is it gonna be said uh, you know what i'm gonna say <laughs> it's where the where the girlfriend or yeah. the wife will send a picture of this of an outfit or was that what you're gonna say wait i don't think where, okay so there's the, there was this like trend going on on tiktok is the wife would send the husband do you like this outfit and it was that she, the wife would find this outfit that, and do you like this outfit? Oh, and then uh. the husband was like, meh, it's whatever. And then the next one was like, oh, interesting. Cause you liked her page and she was in the same outfit. And oh. so like, yeah. So they were getting oh, caught yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's I've where, seen the other way. Yeah, well, I've seen ahead. the other way where, where, uh, the guy likes a photo uh-huh. and then I, however he gets it, he gets it to where his girlfriend or wife sees that he liked the photo uh-huh. and it'd be like a girl in a bikini or something like that. And so he would set a camera up if he hurt, if he felt she was like going to bring it up uh-huh. and she'd be like, what are you doing? Liking girls in bikinis? What are you doing? Following this girl in bikinis? Yeah. And then he'd pull up her Instagram and show her last photo was her in a bikini. And he'd say, cause she would say, this girl's only posting it. So guys like you like it and you're such a pervert and you're this and that. And then he'd pull up her Instagram and be like, okay, so if if liking a girl's photo in a bikini makes me a pervert, why why are you posting yourself in a bikini mm. then as a married woman? Yeah. For who would that be for? Who that? Yeah. And then she'd be like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, as you could tell, why yeah. social media gets brought in yeah. so much breakups and yeah. divorce because there's yeah. a lot of hypocrisy yeah. behind liking and following yeah. and this and that, yeah. you know. And yeah. so, um, and we can't blame the man. Like I feel like there's a lot of responsibility on the woman. Like you can't just be like, well, close your eyes or don't be staring at me. Like. Uh, hello it's what you're wearing I mean shopping for me is so tough sometimes because I want to wear a nice you know classy dress but I also want to feel sexy in it but it's like I'm not trying to show my booty cheeks or like you know um the top of me so it's just like it's really tough sometimes to shop as a woman as especially a single woman you know so or just a woman in general to be honest yeah yeah, yeah. but so if y'all know any places that are like you know they're modest but they're not like super yeah and that's the thing that like, aritzia is pretty modest aritzia is really aritzia. nice i love yeah. calvin klein we were yep. talking about it last yep. weekend yeah aritzia is really I buy, nice i buy for uh ashley at aritzia a lot Aritzia's that's like nice. uh that's like one that's like one end higher than like zara yeah you know it's not high end but it's like and mango one one oh, bump okay. mango's nice zara yeah mango's nice no but oh. even back to the video it's like as as a married woman I think that it also is, like you said, there's some underlining um, issues there because if a wife is posting so many selfies, what is she not receiving or getting at home to feel the confidence that she needs? Obviously, a confidence doesn't necessarily need to come from man, but if you're constantly posting yourself or posting your body as a married woman, 
you are desiring something you are not getting at home. For sure. And, and, a co- and like open conversation should be there in the relationship. Absolutely. Like if you started doing that, that would be one of the first questions I would ask myself right. is I, before I would like come hard on you and be like, what are you doing? And why are you posting all these selfies? First, I'd be like, uh, you know, m- maybe I haven't been communicating how mm-hmm. how much I desire my wife or yeah. attracted to my wife and all these kind of things like that. Or she shows me an outfit and, uh, and I'm like, yeah, well, it looks like all your other 20 outfits. Yeah. Then she's going to she is going to look for it, not from a man. And right. eventually she could, right. which that's right. where these relationships go down and that can happen. And that does happen. And that's not OK. And that's not good. But at first it starts as like, oh, well, I'll just put it out because my girlfriend's tended like and yeah. and I, I want to show off my new eyelashes and my new nails and my new this and and my girlfriends catch that when yeah. I post it and I want to hear that from because I don't hear it from my husband and there's some yeah. things like like as much as you've tried to get me into your nails like I just don't care I don't like I don't care what you get I don't care what <laughs> there's it looks only been like one time where you're like oh interesting yeah 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 <laughs> But you always ask, like, tell me what you like. Tell me. What, and I'm yeah. always like, that's the I one thing I'm just like, I really care. don't care. It's going to yeah. change in two weeks. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal. But, you know, I buy most of your outfits. Yeah. I buy, you know, I buy most of your clothes. Yeah. I, I buy, you know, shoes for you. I, I buy most of your underwear. Yeah. Like, I do all that stuff. Yeah. So it'd be hard for you to be like, you don't care about how right. I look. And right. I'd be like, I bought, like, yeah. I picked out most of it. What do right. you mean? I don't right. care about. So that for me is like, as a husband, it's kind of deciding like, how can I engage with my wife right, if right. she's articulating to me, like you never make me feel yeah. beautiful, which yeah. is a part of the game. Right. Right. In the same way that a man needs to feel valued. Right. You know, a woman, a, a woman could, a woman could do something, but by a woman just saying, Hey, can you open up this pickle jar? Like mm-hmm. the man feels valued, right, you know, and right. it, it, like, there's this like video that goes around and it's like one day just go home and um, tell your husband, you know, I, I just think that you're such a strong man. Like you're so mm-hmm. strong. Mm-hmm. And then they do like they film it. And then these guys like, you know, they beam up like <laughs> and these aren't even strong guys. They yeah. just, oh, really? You know, <laughs> chest gets all because for a guy like that's all he wants to hear is right. from a, from a woman. Like, I think you're strong. I, I think you do. I think you work hard. And right. he's like, you know, he perks up for that. And then and then for a woman, not all, but many would be like the desire that their husband still as she's aging and has children yeah. and body has changed and life has changed to say, I still think you're beautiful. Yeah. I think you're, you think you're gorgeous. I want to take you out. I want, I want to show you off, not yeah. in a immodest way, but in a, a show you off in the sense of like, I, I, I want to dress up and I want to take yeah. you out rather than her feeling like you're going to wear those jeans to go out to dinner. Like I thought you were going to yeah. treat this yeah. special and then yeah. him go, I don't care about this as if it's me saying, I don't care that you get nails. It's yeah. like, no, I don't care you get how you get your nails, but I also care about a lot of other, other things. things. So yeah. I, I'm allowed to be honest yeah. because there's proof in the pudding on the other yeah. side rather than, you know, what most women hear from their man, which is, I don't care what you do. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you do. I don't care what your hair looks like. I don't care what your eyelids, because you're doing that all for everyone else. Mm-hmm. You're not doing that for me. And for her, she's like, no, I've been growing up since I was seven yeah. to saying I need to dress up for my yeah. man and p- twirl and be a princess in order to yeah. be told I'm beautiful and you're not doing it for me. So I'll go to Instagram yeah. and I'll find it from, yeah. you know, at first it starts, I'll find it for my girlfriends. Yeah. But then if it, if she feels really lonely, mm-hmm. it just takes one guy to say, oh, oh you're gorgeous. Yeah. And her mm-hmm. say, oh, really? And then you open yeah. up this room for the enemy to come into your relationship. And there's a lot of women who have um, emotional affairs. Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome to our advertisement. Yeah. So you're watching our episode. We did a short break. Yep. What do we got a little break for, Ashley? Oh, something really, really exciting. <laughs> that when you came home and told me about the news, I was overjoyed. And I hope you had 30 pieces, but you only had one. But it's okay. Yeah, we yeah. are going to be talking about our new partnership Yes. with an amazing jeweler. Yes. So we have big news. We've teamed up with the exceptional jeweler, Aaron Barnett, uh, to bring you a unique jewelry experience from precious metals to custom creations Aaron has it all, whether you're treating yourself or or surprising a loved one. So it could be for you or someone you love. Okay. Mother, grandmother, sibling, 
you know, spouse, a loved one. His jewelry is a testament to cherished moments. As part of our community, you get special discounts and a chance to visit his private showroom in Los Angeles. So for anniversaries, birthdays, or just because, uh, discover Aaron's jewelry in our show notes. Elevate your relationships with exquisite pieces from our partner, Aaron Barnett. It's a great relationship that we have because now we can offer great discounts to our Beyond I Do community awesome. to hook them up. And so you visit, yeah, like we said, visit the show notes and let's get back into the show. Um, emotional affairs. Yeah. Before they even ever have anything physical. And so the first thing I would do is be like, okay, how can I get with my wife either through counseling right. or if we can handle the conversation maturely ourselves? To be like, hey, what do you need from me? Yeah. Because there's some habits you're kind of showing Mm -hmm. that are um, really look like to me, like you're really trying to get a lot of attention from outside. So, you know, is is there something I'm I'm missing out on? Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, Because, I mean, we've had many of those conversations, just like you said, about the nails and everything like that. Because, you know, I like to switch it up all the time. But I switch it up, obviously, just because I've... Like you said, I've done that since I was younger. I had extensions. I had braids. I had weaves. I had this. I had that. But if there was something where you're like, you know what? That that one missed the mark. I'd be like, all right. That, that wasn't one of his favorites. You know what I mean? If it's a hairstyle or if it was the way I did my makeup or if I went over the top with my lashes, like I always do. Um, I, yeah. I, as a wife, though, I value your um, opinion. I yeah. value the way that... And not to say that you're controlling or I'm allowing you to control me in that way, but there are, like you said, you have allowed yourself to care about certain things, the way that I dress. If I have an outfit on, I'll be like, does this look okay? Does Do you like this? Do you like that? Do, do, what kind of shoes should I wear with this? And you show interest in that way um, to where I feel safe in that area, that I don't have to feel like I have to flaunt what I wear um, to everyone else because you like it. Yeah. I don't care what everyone else likes. If you like it, then I know it's going to be a showstopper because I know yeah. and I trust you when it comes to the way that I look or the way that I uphold myself because you do that for yourself as well. Um, so it's really it, the, the the conversation of the video is just really hard to hear because you do know that there are a lot of people that are just waiting for that one guy to just say, oh, you look beautiful. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why they're posting it. Or some women may be posting it to show that – to make their husband jealous right oh yeah 100 percent. yeah there 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 are some people we've counseled over the years that's like when i post that's the only time i get a reaction from him yeah you know um or if i giggle at the waiter's jokes that's the only Mm -hmm. time my husband puts his hand on my thigh yeah you know to claim ownership yeah you know so she has to figure out this game Mm -hmm. that gets her husband to you know get commanding to actually, you know, embrace her right. rather than him just naturally doing it. Right. So she, you know, we, we sit in counseling appointments like that and we're like, oh my gosh, like this is a very toxic, toxic relationship that you yeah. guys are allowing. These are really toxic things that you guys are allowing to happen that, yeah. that should be addressed. Right. You shouldn't let, because at some point, you know, if you play with fire long enough, someone gets burnt, mm-hmm. someone gets hurt, someone yeah. says, oh, forget this, yeah. you know, blah, 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 yeah. rather than just like, Pursuing healthy, having open conversation of like, mm-hmm. what is it you need mm-hmm. for me? Mm-hmm. What what is it that you desire? What you yeah. know, um, you know, we've counseled people before. Like he never holds my hand, and we're like, have you ever asked him to? No, he should just know no, to do, do it. it. You know, no. it's like, well, mm. you know, maybe, but yeah. you, you could also just tell him hold my hand. Like right. the amount of times you'll tell me because we're not like crazy overly affectionate. Yeah. We'll be going somewhere, and you'll be like, hold my hand, and I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. like. You're not like, you don't love me because you didn't hold no, my hand. I'm just never. like, I was not thinking about it. No. And then my hand gets yeah, sweaty. Yeah, right. So, right, it right. so the hand yeah, holding yeah, lasts yeah, about yeah. 10 minutes. And then we're like, no. oh, that was good. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what, because I nice. feel like it's really tough for men, especially with like IG, you know. Yeah. So as a single man, what is your advice? Would you be like, you need to, I mean, you kind of already said it as far as unfollowing certain women mm-hmm. and just kind of trying to filter yourself with what you see. You don't have to get rid of Instagram, I feel, but it's just kind of creating those boundaries, right? With what you're liking, what you're... As a single man on Instagram, I I would say marry men because unfortunately marry men follow and like, you know, all the similar pages. So 
yeah, as a uh, mm-hmm. as a married man, you know, that would uh, definitely, you know, and, and and sometimes you don't know, like you yeah. you may be following, like there's been times I've followed like a husband and wife, and a and a wife, you know, like is like the husband lets her post whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'd be like, oh, I gotta unfollow this couple, you yeah. know, like yeah, because I'm like this is crazy, you know, and yeah. so. Um, there's kind of stuff like, and there's a big thing that happened yesterday with Kanye because Kanye has been like Christian, but then he, I guess he posted his wife like pretty much naked on Instagram and everyone in the comments like, bring back the Christian Kanye. Like, and I guess the rumors were one of the reasons why him and Kim got a divorce was because he was trying to tell her to dress more conservatively and she didn't want to. And so, um, you know, I, I just thought that was a funny conundrum of like, if that's true, right. obviously that's like purely speculation, but right. if that's true that your first, this last marriage didn't work because you were in a Christian era and you wanted her to be conservative, but now you're not so much. And now your new wife, you're posting her like pretty much naked and everyone's in the comments like, my kids follow you because you were supposed to be a man of God and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And so, you know, to me, like, even as a married man, being watchful of what you're following and what you like, that, and it could shock you. And so you have to be quick to, all right, I'm, I'm unfollowing this. I'm getting rid of this, you know, yeah. should you see that kind of stuff? But then as a single man, yeah, I mean, even more so, you, you don't want to set up these false expectations of what Instagram or reality should right. be. And so I, I do think that you need to be constantly, you know, being aware of what it is that you're liking and engaging. And, you know, what, like one of the issues for me is like, and I always got turned off is because I do all my wife shopping and I even buy her underwear. So a lot of algorithms will show me like lingerie mm-hmm. Instagrams mm-hmm. on like the explore page. <laughs> and I'll have to consistently say like not interest, not because what people don't know is there's these thing called Google pixels where what you search online and then what you search on Instagram, yeah. they cross share mm-hmm. to run ads to you. So I'm buying my wife like a lot of stuff because she just doesn't like to do that stuff. And so I do it for her. And I also get a pick what she wears then. Like, you know, it's a win-win. And so uh, at times I'll open my Instagram and be like, I, I, I have to go in the filter settings and like filter out content because they're trying to run the ads thinking it thinks I'm a girl, you know, like, or if I'm not a girl, it's thinking I'm into wearing that kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> which that ain't it. So yeah, there's yeah. like you, you consistently have to be like, OK, that's not for me. Like and you could do it by going to the little dots and saying, stop showing me this suggested stuff. And you could tweak it and, and tailor it to stop showing you stuff. And even on TikTok, you can do that. I'm not interested. And and they'll it'll start working to show you stuff that maybe it's inappropriate to you that you're not interested right. in. And so, yeah. and it's tough too, because um, then you'll have audio that's like Christian audio. And we, I was just talking about this with a friend and uh, the Christian audio is like uh, some, some holy song. And uh, it's like a, a guy that's acting like a girl and he, he's all in his like bottom half, just the underwear and like this crop top. And then it, it's like a verse in the real, you know, and it's just yeah. like, oh my yo, gosh. like, it's just, I mean, you can't, you can't control people. You yeah. can't, you know, go so quick to judge but it's like it's just a a point of self-reflection like yo like if you're gonna call yourself a christian if you're gonna say you're a believer then i know we're not perfect but at the same time it's like make sure you at least conduct yourself in a way where it's not going to be that's so deceit like you're in your underwear and you're posting a verse yeah like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, Yeah. yeah. and it's so hard too because i think a lot of people don't realize like you said the enemy is always lurking is always on the prowl and we each own have to fight our flesh and we have a specific thing i believe that we fight our flesh on and i think that when it comes to a lot of men their flesh is fl- f- their flesh is fighting the woman's flesh they're, they're or fighting the visual of of a woman and so i think sometimes you have to be careful as a man to um, make sure that you are guarded and that you aren't allowing and exposing yourself to certain things. And as a woman, that you're not a causing, like I said earlier, a man to stumble by showing the flesh that you're not supposed to. Like Adam said, like you aren't a meat market. Like don't put yourself out there. A lot of men love um, smart intellect women and they want someone that they can bring home to their mother. And so I think that when you come down to when it comes down to it, um, be mindful of what what your flesh fights or what what, what, what you. And fight the men with. who don't want that, they just they're really looking for just something something physical. Physical, which a hundred percent. You know, 
because that's what you hear a lot of times yeah. from girls. It's like, well, I, you know, I, I go on these dates with these guys and by day two, they, yeah. you know, they say they're Christian. They say, go to by day two, they're, you know, inviting me over to their house. And yeah. it's like, well, what way did they first engage with you? Absolutely. They met you at a, you know, a, a, a restaurant that's pretty much a nightclub. Yeah. And, you know, you were, you were wearing a, a you a know, bustier a, a bustier and, and, and a, you know, a lingerie top, yeah. you know, tucked into some jeans. Yeah. I mean, he, he's only coming to a logical conclusion. That's the whole reason why well, he approached there. you. You know, Absolutely. and when you said, "Oh, I'm a Christian," I go to church. He was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, me too." You know, yeah. like yeah. a lot of guys will be anything you want them to be. They, oh, they, absolutely. They, you know, like that's part of their 100%. game. You know, so. And I think it's just obviously you you allow you'll allow whatever you allow. Like you'll allow someone to uh, manipulate you when it comes down to it. You'll allow someone to deceive you um, when it comes down to it. And I think that you have to be so careful with social media. That's why like sometimes I think I've, uh, you and I have had this conversation multiple times. I'm like, I'll be on it. And I'm like scrolling and then 10 minutes in, I'm like, this is stupid. And I just toss my phone. I'm like, why am I on this? Yeah. And it's obviously in it, it's, it's a sad platform because not only is it why are you posting your selfie, but it's it's uh, keeping up with the Joneses. It's, oh, what are they doing that I'm not doing? What do they have that I don't have? And I think we yeah. put ourselves in this. I was just telling Vance, he's going to be in Beyond the Letters yeah. next podcast. Or Pat, he's going to be with us tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, man, thanks a lot, bro. And he was like, well, I was talking to my phone yesterday. I was like, thanks, man. He was like, what? I go, for your wife's birthday, you took her on a Disney cruise, and my wife sees it, calls me right away, and goes, "Vance take, took his wife on a Disney sure cruise." Did. I'm like, "Yeah," and Vance owns a multi-million dollar business, and so gotta start saying. And Vance has twelve nannies. Like, uh, yeah, of course, he went to Disney cruise. <laughs> like, what did he say? Like, what he's he say? laughing. He's like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The life yeah. I live. And I think social sorry. media can be used as a good platform. Like, I think yeah. there's benefits to it because you could reach the world, and there's just you know keeps but, you connected. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. 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 It's just, if you're yeah. using it for the right reasons. Right. Exactly. I think that. Um, what was it? What were we watching the other day? It's that entertaining sometimes. It really. It, it's very entertaining. What were we watching the other day where it said that? it said that now the next generation or something like that is aspiring uh, influencers. Like the, that's what everyone wants to do now as a job. Like the number one well, job. Oh, like YouTubers? I, yeah. think my, I think my dad said that. Yeah. That a thing. But yeah, yeah, thing, their yeah. aspiration is YouTuber, yeah. influencer. Yeah. yeah. And and seeing the, the, the route that we're going um, – with women that are doing gym posts or uh, motivational posts or the MLM and doing their Monet and all that stuff. I think that it can, like you said, it's manipulating or it's, it's a positive thing. Mm -hmm. it, it could be one or the other. And so, um, I, I, I'm glad that I have grown up, <laughs> I'll say, and not cared in mm -hmm. the sense of like what I'm posting. The only thing like, I would say is like every now and then I'll post our family like on a Thanksgiving or something like that or like when mm. we're out and about, but it's never an intentional or an idol to me to where I have to feel like if I don't post it, it didn't happen. No one saw it. No one clapped. So I don't have validation. Yeah. And I think that's the mindset I think a lot of people have to get out of is finding validation from man that they need a post or yeah. they well, I know a lot of teenagers. They, uh, I've heard it from their mouths before. They said, if, if in the first hour of my Instagram post doesn't get a certain amount of comments or likes, uh, right. I, I delete it, right? You know, well, and, and I think and it's like, oh, well, the one thing that I like okay. now that Instagram does is that you can turn off like count. Oh, yeah, like mm -hmm. I like, but that a lot of them are still looking at it, yeah. You know, oh, 100 people. They turn it off, but 100%. on the back end, they're looking at well, it yeah. and they're like, oh, no. And then, yeah. and then they went from, okay, well, now you can't see the likes, but you can see the comments, right? Like, you know. I won't, I won't post anything that has less than 10 comments, yeah. you know, it's like, and you're oh, like, oh, why? that, and then, you or know? you hear certain people too say, oh yeah, I saw so-and-so like my post, like, or went on my story and liked it or something like that. And I'm like, you're on the back end, back end, looking at who's <laughs> looking <laughs> at it and at like, story. Yeah. that's wild to me. Yeah. Well, that's so. when you've gotten to a place where, yeah, you just, you, you, number one, you probably got too much time on your hands. Bad part. 
And so uh, I've always said that about guys who play fantasy football. I'm like, man, if they if they take the time that they put into fantasy football and put that into a new they business, fell. they'd be millionaires. Every guy who plays fantasy football, they, they'd literally be millionaires. If they just took that amount of intellect, that amount of research, and put it into a business. How long does that You'd last? Be, I don't even know. How oh, these guys works. spend at least, correct me if I'm wrong, 20, 25 hours a week. On their fantasy football, looking at no. players drafting, ga- looking you have to yeah, watch you have the to games. Switch if a switch player players, injured. you trade. You got to know I, what's going on. You're watching. They know, you, and it's crazy. over 25 they hours. Know if that, you're competitively so, like your fan, it. you know the fantasy football team. Yeah, you know each player. Like you know from each team. That's like the best from each team. I'm like I couldn't even Dang, tell you. So imagine you work a job for 40 hours a week, and then you spend another part time job doing fantasy football with your friends. Not that I'm clowning on it. Do whatever you enjoy. If you enjoy it and it gives you joy and and relaxation and community, do it. Do whatever you want. But I just laugh when I when I talk to guys that are into fantasy football, I mean they know they know when these players went to the bathroom last. <laughs> they know they know what high school, what college, my who their coaches story were. Was a few, you know, podcasters. like my favorite one was with Phil when you guys when you took oh, him yeah, and he yeah. switched them out. I, mean, we, I did an NFL chapel one time and then the a, a player that was playing on Sunday uh, came in with an injury with ice around his knee <laughs> and then uh, Phil had him playing in his fantasy football, but it wasn't announced that he was injured yet. And so if they announced he was injured, Phil would have got zero points for that day. But when he literally, I brought Phil with me when I was speaking to this NFL team, when, right when Phil saw the player come with ice, he pulled out his phone and he <laughs> traded him off of his team <laughs> right away. And then we're getting in the elevator. Phil's like, man, I'm so glad I came tonight. And I'm like, yeah, man, it's real cool to see that many players love the Lord. huh? He's like, well, yeah, that too. But um, <laughs> I got to see that player so-and-so was injured and uh, – I got to trade them off before. <laughs> we all got Listen, I'm for it. Uh, yeah, I'm for but. it. But, but, but I, you know, outside of enjoyment, you put 25 hours in a little side business, you, 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 you gonna be, you gonna be all right. And yeah. it's not even the point that these guys are working at it. It's what they know. They know it's a the lot. research. Yeah. I hear my nephews and my brother in law talk, and they're like, lot. And Yo, like, we're going to move him in here because on Saturday he's Philadelphia, and then his mom actually just got in a divorce, and <laughs> so he's not going to play good. And so, I mean, they just, you just think, like, know everything. Oh my gosh, like, you guys know so much about yeah. this. Like, be great yeah. on ESPN. Right? It's crazy. Like, like, every guy who's into fantasy, like, does it seriously, which is a lot of men. It'd be a lot of things that they yeah. could do. They all just collectively worked on like politics or business or world hunger. Or their family. I think all the fantasy, f- <laughs> I think all the fantasy football players would do pretty well in life. Golly. <laughs> oh, boy. Is there a soccer for, fantasy? Thing? Girl, I, I would not be a I think there's a fantasy for everything, but oh. th- what's big is bas- or football. football. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's loosely that's basketball. One team. Yeah, some guys do I mean, two or three teams, multiple huh? Teams. Multiple yeah. teams. Yeah, that's wild. Different leagues, like you can be in different fantasy football uh-huh. leagues. Like there's, yeah, I, I no know. Way. And and then you, they put money in for it, right? Because then yep. you win a, oh. a you win you win at the end if you if you win the most points or something. I don't even know how it works. It's, yeah, it yeah. confusing. It, it seems yeah. too long to win some money. How like long you, does that last? The, the whole season? season. But if you enjoy it and it's fun, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you boo? That's what I think. I mean. For fantasy football, it's fun. They like the sport already, and they just added more fun, which is why I'm like, yeah, do whatever you want. But <laughs> it's just a lot of work. To things, me, it yeah. makes my it makes my head hurt. It is yeah. Yeah. that many football games you gotta watch. <laughs> <laughs> you got mad at me watching the other game, the college football yeah, team. Like, whenever I do NFL, college. whenever I do NFL chapels, I'm like, I have to make a confession. Uh, I don't watch I don't football. Watch football. I have no and, idea uh, who any of you uh, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't really care. I think that's a perfect fit. Though. Yeah, 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 it is. So you're not Google like, Gaga just, over right. these men. He's like, I just want to make sure you're saved. That's all. Sometimes yeah. I'll have someone with me, and they'll be like, you know, who you just talked to, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> We had, we had one of the biggest Dodger pitchers come to our house one day. Oh, yeah. And yes. Ashley's like, come to the door. So-and-so's at the door. Joe Kelly. Joe yeah. Kelly. She's like, yeah. Joe Kelly's at the door. I went I went I to high school with his wife. A very famous pitcher yeah. for the Dodgers. Dodgers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
She's like, Joe Kelly's at the door. And I just stayed on the couch. I was like, oh, that's cool. I just, <laughs> it's just a mess. <laughs> and, then I, and then she she knows his wife. Like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's the one who, she, she just went viral because that new um, player ja that Japanese got, player gave yeah. her a Porsche. A car, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, because she gave. They, uh, Joe had, Kelly let him his have his number. number. Yeah, yeah, his number that he's always that, had. Yeah. yeah. He gave it to him. So he gave his wife was the one, the deciding factor. Yeah. And so he gifted her a car. Wow. But Crazy, yeah, Joe right? Kelly was at our door on like Halloween or something yeah. like that. And then, uh, and then I was like, uh, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I told my dad the next day, he was like, what? What? Joe Kelly, what did tell us? I was like, oh, it's big, it's a big deal, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, my dad loves baseball. Dodgers. Dodgers, yeah. And, oh. and I was like, oh, he's he's a big deal, huh? That's cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, sure. But like, let a designer or like, oh my a, gosh. like you know, someone in tech walk by. I'll be like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know? You but know I still can't is. even yeah. imagine, like, him being like, Oh, my goodness. No, he isn't. He isn't very... Neither of us are. We're not very... I'll be like, oh, that's somebody. We were at the airport the other day, and it was... It's terrible. Uh, where were we? When it, It's trash TV that we ended up watching. Chicago, Inc. We were in Chicago. We flew into Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this guy looks so familiar. Where is he from? Like, And we kept staring at him. He was staring at us. He knew that we knew who he was, and we were like... I'm like it, it just bothers you when you know somebody is yeah. somebody and then Adam randomly Adam was like oh I think he's from Chicago Inc or uh, New, New York New Inc, Inc or something, something like that and yeah. I was like oh that is and so I went and looked and I was like it is all right and then we got over it and we're like but it just like gets stuck in your head of like oh my god right. who Trying is this person yeah. Yeah. yeah I got to hang out with Matt Damon before ain't nothing right. bigger than that you know? he got to have he got to get an omelet with I, him I had pancakes with, with Matt Damon Denzel, he's like, oh my gosh yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining <laughs> us today. God bless, God bless you. you. I don't Bye. know that we answered anything today, but it was yes, a good conversation. Yes, we did. It was great. <laughs>